Hello, my name is Evan Jenkins from 971 The Ticket, and I am very, very, very excited to be joined by Chelsea Messenger from BetQL. How are you today? Yeah, I'm really excited, and I'm doing the rounds promoting our new show uh, presented uh, by MGM on Odyssey. It is the Daily Tip, uh, airing every weekday, 6 a.m. to 9 Eastern uh, with Michael Jenkins. I'm really excited to be talking sports and be talking betting. Uh, as you guys know, betting is really taking off, and I think it goes hand-in-hand hand with sports. So I am welcoming sports fans with open arms to the betting world. Come on in, the water's fine. Yeah, that's very exciting. Now, when we talk about betting, because it is still fairly new here in the state of Michigan, um, are there certain bets, because I'm gonna ask you as a very naive person, because I don't trust myself with sports betting, but are there bets that are safer than others? Like I always hear people talk about the plus 200 to the minus 200. Like, I'm just gonna ask as a newbie trying to get into betting, what would be a safe bet for a beginner? Here's where I kind of like to stay around. I like to stay uh, around minus 140, which means you are risking $140 to win 100. That's the, the ratio. You don't have to bet $100. Uh, and I certainly don't every time. Um, up to, uh, I'll play some plus 200s, but no is the more in the plus money that you get, the riskier that bet is. Like, obviously you only have to risk 100 to win 200, but that bet is harder to hit because people see these big time parlays, you know, that the sports books put out, but that's like winning the lottery or, you know, hitting a slot machine. So uh, know that odds like plus 10,000, like you're probably not going to hit it. So beware, just know that it's kind of like playing the lottery. Okay. So all these tweets that I see where they hit a massive 10 game parlay yep. or score the first bucket, win the opening tip, um score the last bucket before the first half like that's pretty far-fetched then for the average show right I mean you can still play them and they're a lot of fun just definitely don't risk your rent on that <laughs> absolutely and now on your show the daily tip that's Monday through Friday 6 to 9 a.m are you guys talking more or less about the bets that were made the day before or are you going to preview everything that is coming up the day uh, we'll be talking about the daily slate along with a uh, kind of reactionary from the night before and how it affects the betting lines moving forward because uh, we are a very early morning show. So we'll be recapping uh, the night's events and what happened the night before in sports for all you folks that can't stay up that late uh, and also how it affects the, the day in betting and also sprinkling in some fun. It's wagertainment. It's not just numbers and analysis. We're also there to have a good time. I like that wagertainment. I like that a lot. Did you come up with that? Of course not. <laughs> well, okay. So here in Detroit, we have our Tigers. Is there yep. anything that you're feeling with the game today or um, upcoming? We don't have the best of luck with our players staying healthy right now or winning, but what tips do you have for us? Yeah, it, there's ways to play teams other than just, you know, straight up wins and losses. Uh, and in the Tigers case, I'm playing them in the first five innings. And that means whoever is winning after five innings is how this wager is going. Uh, I'm playing the Tigers in the first five money line. And if you look at their starter, Casey Mize, uh, if you're a Tigers fan, you know the name. He's a first overall pick. Uh, for the Tigers, and he's been really good lately. Uh, over his last seven starts, two and one with a 2.45 ERA, seven quality starts in his last eight, including two quality starts against Kansas City, who they are playing today. Uh, we saw the Tigers uh, score a lot of runs last night, too. So uh, he does need some run support there. But the Tigers have been really good in the first five over their last 10, uh, six, three, and one, which means they've won six times out of their last 10. Uh, and it's plus money. We talk about plus money. They're plus money today, plus 120. So I will be taking a risk with Casey Mize and the Tigers in the first five against the Royals. Now, you're going to have to explain something to me. Now, with baseball, you're saying you're betting the first five. Is that first common five innings. for every game? Or is it like, can you bet the first three innings, the first six, nine, so on? And like, how does that work? It depends on the book. Uh, usually they'll have a, a first three innings, but first five is kind of like the first half. Okay. So a lot of people will do that. And that's kind of if you like the starting pitcher, but you don't like the bullpen, or if you don't trust the bullpen, because uh, we saw the Tigers use nine pitchers 
uh, yesterday. So I'm not sure if I'd trust that bullpen. So if you like that angle, you play the first five. And that's why I'm doing it in this case. Okay, now we have a big golf event coming up mm -hmm. this weekend at the U.S. Open at Torrey Pines. And like I said, I'm a very, very casual better. So when I look at golf, I see something like Brooks Kepka to win. You can bet $5 and win 175 right? They're crazy odds right. beforehand. Is that based on why, – why are those odds so crazy for – you know, these upper echelon golfers that you almost are going to predict to win by all of the experts, right? Right. As someone who's been betting on golf for a while, those outright bets are very hard to hit because okay. Skepka can have a great weekend, but one player playing better than him means you don't win any money uh, and you lose your initial bet. So I usually do top 30s, top 20s. Uh, they're a little less riskier, but I like winning. Uh, I like having something in my pocket, you know, because it's cool to win a, a ton of money off a, a little wager, but those bets are really hard to hit. So a top 30 play I'm looking at is Adam Scott, plus 125. Uh, this Torrey Pines course is very long, longest uh, course on tour, I believe. Uh, and you look at Adam Scott, he's 20th on tour in driving distance. He's coming off a 16th place finish at the Memorial, two top 20s in his last four events, and he plays Torrey Pines uh, particularly well uh, in two appearances at the Farmers Insurance Open. Uh, he's got a second place finish in 2019 and a 10th place finish in 2021. Uh, I also like Colin Morikawa at plus money, uh, plus 100. He is number one in strokes gained T to green. Like I said, it's a long course. So I think his game lines up well for this course. That is, that's exciting to hear. And, and that's, uh, he's from California. So she, he should be right. very familiar with that golf course. Are there prop bets for big tournaments like this? Like, I mean, I, I don't there's even know all what kinds of golf... bets in just about every sport. Uh, okay. These sports books are willing to take your money <laughs> on just about anything. Uh, I think you can even live bet golf to, you know, if you think this player is going to make a birdie, if they're oh, going to wow. bogey. Uh, but be very careful with live betting because if you have a streaming service like YouTube TV, you're behind. Just know that. So, <laughs> so I stay away from live betting in that regard just because I don't know how much of a delay I'm on. All right. So now I'm going to throw a curveball. I know football is far away. We're still months away. But the Detroit Lions. No oh, gosh. Do you ever suggest people to put their money on them? I know they're huge odds. You can make a lot of money if. Well, they have to win, though. Correct. That's like people saying, oh, winning the lottery would be great. 200 and some million dollars. Yeah, but you got to win. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. But I mean, those. Do you think future bets are smart bets? I mean, I guess there is no smart bet because it's a bet right if it was guaranteed you could just go get the money but do you like future bets at all yeah i think um this is going to sound a little bit more complicated because you can hedge them uh right now in the nba i have a plus 1600 ticket for the jazz uh which i can hedge and still make money which means you're selling your initial investment um because their odds have shrunk Mm -hmm. um, but you can hedge it with other things and still end up making money. I know that's kind of complicated, especially for new bettors. Uh, they're a fun way to, you know, have something uh, in the back of your mind during the season. But keep in mind, it kind of sucks having to wait to cash that ticket. It, it does. It like almost like burns. Oh, it burns a hole in your pocket. Yes, you know? it, it totally does. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't ask about everything going on behind you i'm a huge memorabilia right. guy i might not know betting but i know memorabilia and wow do you have everything going on behind you yeah um my husband uh played baseball uh and my parents-in-law which is that's where i'm at they have a ton of baseball mem memorabilia so it's really cool uh behind me is my husband's uh, mlb debut jersey uh, his jerseys from the Cubs when they won the World Series, the postseason uniforms. Wow. Uh, so we've got a lot of cool stuff. And my husband's been lucky to be on some really cool teams. And I love the Astros throwback uniforms. And that's what he got to make his debut in. So and I love also that. love that Fresno jersey has not been washed. So the provenance is still there, which I absolutely adore. So that is awesome. And Chelsea, remind us again where we can hear you every single day, Monday through Friday. 
Yeah, thanks for having me. And Absolutely. again, I am one of the hosts of the Daily Tip uh, presented by BetMGM on Odyssey uh, on the BetQL uh, network um, with Michael Jenkins. He's going to be my co-host. He's great. Uh, you can catch it every weekday, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern, where we'll be talking betting, fun, sports, wagertainment. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Good luck on your bet with the Jazz. I am personally rooting for them. And thank you again. Thanks.